Good afternoon, meteorologist Matt Standridge here. Thank you for Thank you for clicking on the VU TV weather page. Just want to give you a quick update on your forecast in the next few days. The rain we saw yesterday has already made its way into Boston. That cold front pushed through, helped keep temperatures a little bit cooler today and also into the northeast. So that was a quick mover. If we look on into our area, we're seeing much clearer conditions today, although a little bit crisper thanks to that cold front that passed through. Now at the beginning of the loop, you see some clouds that are coming off the lake. Those stayed in their area this morning and into the afternoon, although those have now gone away. We had a north wind to help produce those clouds off the lake. The reason why you can tell is how close they are to the ground. They were around 3,000 feet, so that's a way you can tell if they're coming off the lake or not. So as the winds shift, the clouds will be moving on to Mich uh, the Michiana area and to the Grand Rapids area. So we're going to stay clear overnight. But since we are clear and since we are seeing calmer winds now, we are, are going to see our first patchy frost of the year. Yes, that's the first frost advisory for Porter County this year, thanks to the clear skies and the calm winds. The average frost usually comes in mid-October, I should say. So we are definitely average for this time of year seeing that frost. Temperatures today were in the mid to upper 50s across the lake, uh, across Chicagoland and into uh, northwest Indiana, 55 Chicago, 55 in the western suburbs. So as you go across the lake, lower 50s into the Michiana area, thanks to the clouds that they saw today, more so than in Chicago keeping them a little bit cooler. If we go into the evening, temperatures will start to drop as soon as the clouds and the sun go away. 37 degrees. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow. It's not quite freezing, so that's why we're going with patchy frog, but some of the low-lying areas will get under 32 degrees, so watch out for some frost as uh, you head your way out into tomorrow morning. We should warm up quickly, though. Mostly sunny skies will let us get to about 63 degrees, low 60s for the entire Chicagoland area. For future radar, it's going to show you that we're going to be clear tomorrow. Mostly sunny conditions. The clouds should stay off to the west into Illinois, into Missouri and Iowa. But notice the clouds. They start to move in by Saturday. So Saturday is mostly going to be dry for the first half of the day, but we are going to see the clouds throughout the day. And then you're going to see the rain start to fill in into western Illinois, and it starts to get to the Indiana border right around 11 to midnight tomorrow. And then the rain is going to push through. It's going to be associated with the cold front. So another a blast of a little bit cooler air will be on our way for this weekend. So for your morning commute on Sunday, there may be some spotty rain showers throughout the area and that will push on into Ohio further into your Sunday. So tonight we're going to see a low of 37. It's going to be clear. Also patchy frog in our forecast, just calm winds out there out of the northwest. Tomorrow will be sunny, highs in the upper 60s, winds out of the southwest keeping us a little bit warmer tomorrow than we were able to get today. That's also going to be the trend into your Saturday, although the chance of showers does come in for you for your Saturday evening, especially into Sunday. The severe threat, although, is low right now because the storms will be coming through the overnight hours, so they won't have quite uh, as much energy as they might have. So that is good news for us here in northwest Indiana. The rain should end sometime into midday on Monday, and then clear weather for Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures in the 60s.